Rollo, known as Ganger Hrolf, and baptized Robert, was a Viking who became the first ruler of Normandy, a region of France. Rollo came from a noble warrior family of Scandinavian origin. After making himself independent of the Norwegian king Harold Fairhair, he sailed off to Scotland, Ireland, England and Flanders on pirating expeditions, and took part in raids along France's Seine River. Rollo won a reputation as a great leader of Viking rovers in Ireland and Scotland, and emerged as the outstanding personality among the Norsemen who had secured a permanent foothold on Frankish soil in the valley of the Lower Seine. Charles the Simple, the King of West Francia, ceded them lands between the mouth of the Seine and what is now the city of Rouen in exchange for Rollo agreeing to end his brigandage, and provide the Franks with his protection against further incursion by North War bands. Rollo is first recorded as the leader of these Viking settlers in a charter of 918, and it appears that he continued to reign over the region of Normandy until at least 927. Before his death, he gave his son, William I Longsword, governance of the Duchy of Normandy that he had founded, and after William succeeded him, the offspring of Rollo and his men became known as the Normans, under leadership of Rollo's progeny the Dukes of Normandy. After the Norman conquest of England and the conquest of southern Italy and Sicily over the following two centuries, the descendants of Rollo and his men came to rule Norman England, the Kingdom of Sicily as well as the Principality of Antioch from the 10th to 12th century AD, leaving behind an enduring legacy in the historical developments of Europe and the Near East. Origins Rollo was born in the latter half of the 9th century somewhere on the Atlantic side of Scandinavia. Details of his origins and parentage are obscured, though it is clear from his later status as a Jarl that he belonged to a noble warrior family. Later Norman writers, notably Dudo of St. Quentin, refer to Rollo as Danish, a term then used for the inhabitants of Scandinavia. Dudo's 11th century work, De Moribus A Actis Primorum Normanorum Ducum, additionally recounts a Danish nobleman at loggerheads with the King of Denmark, who had two sons, Gurum and Rollo, upon his death. Gurum was killed and Rollo was expelled. The historian D. C. Douglas calls this account manifestly improbable in all its details. As the assertion Rollo originated in Denmark cannot be wholly trusted owing to an alliance between Robert II of Normandy and the Danish king Swain, Faultbeard at the time of Dudo's writings, Geoffrey Malaterra, an 11th century Benedictine monk and historian, wrote how Rollo sailed boldly from Norway with his fleet to the Christian coast. The 12th century English historian William of Malmesbury stated that Rollo was born of noble lineage among the Norwegians. Rollo also is mentioned in The Life of Gruffud ap Kurnan, a 12th century history, which refers to him as the youngest of two brothers to the first king of Dublin. The 13th century Icelandic sagas, Heim, Skringler and Orkneyinga saga, remember him as Hrolf the Walker, but offer a contradictory account of his parentage. Both sources mention Rollo was born as Hrolfr Rongvaldsen in Moor, a western Norway, in the late 9th century as a son to the Norwegian Jarl Roggenvold Eysteinsson. Eysteinsson was known to be an enemy of the two brothers mentioned in the life of Gruffud ap Kurnan, richer of Reims, who lived in the 10th century, named Rollo's father as one Catius, or Kettle. However, the reliability of Richard's account has been dismissed by some scholars, and Kettle is regarded by the historian D. C. Douglas as a legendary figure. Name the name Rollo is a Latin translation from the Old Norse name Hrolfr, but Norman people called him by his popular name Ru. Sometimes his name is turned into the Frankish name Rodolf or Radolf for the French Raoul that had arrived from it. Biography According to Dudo, Rollo seized Rouen in 876 and led the Viking fleet which besieged Paris and attacked Bayer and Ebro between 885 and 887. 
He subsequently married Popper, daughter of Berengar, Count of Rennes, who gave birth to Rollo's future successor, William Longsword. Douglas dismisses this account, pointing out that Rollo's death in or after 925 makes it very unlikely that he captured Rouen as early as 876, and that he had already fathered William before his arrival in France. Instead, Douglas asserts that Rollo likely came to France no earlier than 900, and probably after 905. Before then, he became an experienced Viking, visiting Scotland and probably Ireland. The sparsity of northern Gaulish chroniclers in the early 10th century has proved to be a barrier in piecing together Rollo's raids and invasion of the region around the Seine. Rollo is first mentioned in a chronicle in 921, but the earliest documentary evidence of his presence in the region is a chart of dated 918, which assigned the Parisian Abbey of Saint Germain des Pierre Acutes the monastery of La Croix Saint when on the air. It records those properties which we have given for the protection of the kingdom of the Northmen on the Seine, that is, Rollo and his associates. There are only one or two contemporary mentions of Rollo. The earliest record is from 918, when an actor Charles the Simple mentions that he conceded land to Rollo and his associates for the protection of the kingdom, the chronicler. Flor du Ad records that Robert of the Breton March waged a campaign against the Vikings who nearly leveled Rouen and other settlements. Eventually, he conceded certain coastal provinces to them. Dudio retrospectively stated that this pact took place in 911 at St. Clair sur Epte. This was roughly the time when the Vikings suffered a defeat at Chartres and the Frankish king, which may have prompted them to negotiate. David Crouch concludes that although probable, it is impossible to verify this. However, Douglas agreed with Flor Duard's account in the history of the church at Reims. After the defeat at Chartres, the Normans formed a pact with Charles and converted to Christianity. He argued that Charles the Simple's plan to invade Lorraine would have also contributed to his willingness to negotiate a settlement in the north. Flor Duad explicitly states that Charles granted Rollo and his men the city of Rouen and a number of dependent districts around the coast. Charles was overthrown by a revolt in 923, and his successor, Robert of Neustria, was killed by the Vikings in 924. His successor, Ralph, conceded the Besson and Main to Rollo shortly afterwards. Subsequent analyses of the region's place names reveal Scandinavian settlements stretching from the Seine Valley to the coast, and from Rouen to Jep. However, compared to settlements along eastern England, the appearance of Norse elements in place names was far from widespread or entrenched. The occurrence of the Gallo-Roman suffix, vil, after Norse names is evidence for this. Around these territories, Normandy emerged with Rollo and his men gradually adopting the pre-existing administrative and ecclesiastical boundaries they inherited, the Archbishopric of Rouen and the traditional civil province, or Pagus. Rollo was alive but frail in 927, when his son is recorded doing homage to King Ralph. His exact death date is not known, but he was certainly dead by 933 and most historians approximate the year of his demise to 928. Legacy after pledging his fealty to Charles III as part of the Treaty of St. Clair sur Epte, Rollo divided the lands between the rivers Epte and Ryle among his chieftains, and settled with a de facto capital in Rouen. Over time, Rollo and his Vikings converted from Norse paganism to Christianity and intermarried with the native Christian women, with Rollo taking Popper of Bayer daughter of Berengar, the Count of Rennes, as his wife, their child William I Longsword, and grandchild Richard the Fearless, forged the Duchy of Normandy into West France's most cohesive and formidable principality. The descendants of Rollo and his men assimilated with their maternal Frankish Catholic culture and became known as the Normans, lending their name to the region of Normandy. Rollo is the great-great-great-grandfather of William the Conqueror, or William I of England. 
through William. He is one of the ancestors of the present-day British royal family, as well as an ancestor of all current European monarchs and a great many claimants to abolish European thrones. A genetic investigation into the remains of Rollo's grandson, Richard the Fearless, and his great-grandson, Richard the Good, has been announced with the intention of discerning the origins of the historic Viking leader, the Clamor de Haro, in the Channel Islands is, supposedly, an appeal to Rollo, family. Dudo records that Rollo took Popa, a daughter of Berenger, Count of Wren, as a wife and with her had their son and Rollo's heir, William. It is impossible to verify this and Douglas dismissed it. Dudo also records that Charles the Simple gave one of his daughters, Gisela, in marriage to Rollo, but Douglas considers this in the highest degree improbable. Douglas accepts a story from an Icelandic saga that, while in Scotland, Rollo married a Christian woman and had a daughter, Kathleen. According to the sagas, she married a Scottish king called Beerlin, and had at least a daughter called Nithbeorg who was taken captive by and married to Helga Utterson, another daughter, Gerlach or Adol, who married William III, Duke of Aquitaine, was identified by Dudo and accepted by Crouch as a daughter of Rollo and Popa, an identification made by William of Jumiges in the latter half of the 11th century. Depictions in fiction Rollo is the subject of the 17th century play Rollo Duke of Normandy written by John Fletcher, Philip Massinger, Ben Jonson, and George Chapman. A character, loosely based on the historical Rollo and played by Clive Standen, is Ragnar Lothbrok's brother in the History Channel television series Vikings.